just got to Ueno guys and it is like 7.45 in the morning but I'm going to change here I think I should find some line I can't even remember the name of it I th let me check my phone real quick I think it's Hitachi 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 Tokiwa line something like that so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna continue on our trip stay with me let's go There's nobody out here because it's like pretty early in the morning. This is gonna be fun, so yeah, let's do this. I think I found it, guys. It took me a little while to find this one, but yeah. Why is it saying we're going to Sendai though? Limited Express for Sendai, wow. I hope I didn't have to buy like a special ticket for this but yeah this is what we're taking guys it's like a Shinkansen the bullet train the fastest in Japan it's like three stops an hour and 18 minutes So we just made it to Fukuroda. 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 That's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can get some information about the bus and then I'll tell you guys about my ride. After about four hours and like eight minutes, Tops made it to Fukuroda and we're gonna see the waterfalls. I must have taken like about four trains to get here. like. It's a long ride it's about four hours and eight minutes and i changed trains like four times it was a beautiful ride the sceneries were amazing landscape rivers mountains everything was good if you live down here you will probably see those guys getting up every day putting their overalls on and getting to plow in the field because yeah it's rich in vegetation down here very very rich and now i'm on the street <laughs> because I'm heading over to the waterfall so we're gonna check that out and we're gonna head back to where we are supposed to be because we do have appointments and we're just gonna see the waterfalls first and then we'll head back we are walking look how pretty that is <laughs> yeah we are walking because you have to walk like about eight minutes seven or eight minutes tops to get to this waterfalls that we're going to so 
I'm really excited because it is like the third largest waterfall in Japan. And I learned that recently. Yeah, I was watching other people's videos and I saw that shout out to all of those YouTubers out there. Yeah, I realized it's the third largest waterfall in Japan. And I'm excited to actually see what it looks like. So that's why I'm out here today. The weather is perfect, it's sunny. It's not so hot, but it's sunny and warm outside today. So it should be a good day. I just need to keep my phone on charge so that I can find my way back. All the shop assistants saying like "Irashimase," which means like "Welcome to our shop." We got the tickets, and it's only 300 yen, very inexpensive, like everywhere else in Japan. Um, we're gonna go through the tunnel now, and the excitement <laughs> will begin. This is it. So we are. so you can only see me if I stand under the light <laughs> it is pretty dark in here I can hear waterfalls, but I can't see anything. I was not expecting that. I mean, I saw it on, online and I thought it would be different, but it's really amazing. It's actually pretty beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm gonna check it out from a different angle. So yeah, so you guys can see more. But it's kind of like cascading. It has like one, two, three, about three or four different layers. It's amazing. a walk and oh my god the bridge is shaking only 300 yen and you can see this amazing treasure that is like in Ibaraki prefecture yes where we're coming from there are some stairs going all the way up somewhere all right we're gonna go check this out because we cannot come here and not check out what's up there. Everybody's going up there. Oh boy. Wow. 
This looks like a never ending stairs. Yeah. I'm already tired. Damn. Need to breathe. We can't wear the mask up these stairs. Guys, I'm tired. Alright, we're going up, we're going up. Even the children. And this old guy is faster than me. <sighs> yeah, whenever you get a Capricorn excited, these are the kind of things that we get ourselves into. I'm climbing some never ending stairs, but I really want to see what's at the top, so let's go. Whew. Your girl is tired. We are tired. Like, tired. We're coming from down there. Can you see those guys walking? Yeah. We're going up there. Somewhere up there. One eternity later. Your girl is resting. Oh, guys, this is no joke. You need to be fit. Um, I'm taking a rest right now because as you can see, the top of the falls is like right behind me. So maybe you guys understand the amount of steps that I had to take to get up here. It's a lot. People are really tired. They stop along the way, which is cool. But this is like a workout. This is more than a workout in and of itself. But if you want to see the third largest falls in Japan, this is what you have to do. We are in Ibaraki and we are enjoying nature. Okay guys, so my friends that I met, they're going down. They just told me it's like three more minutes to one of the levels of the falls so where I can see from like maybe the top or the middle, I don't know. But after I get to that point, your girl is going back down because yeah, this is a lot of workout today that I wasn't really prepared for. I just wanted to come and see the nice views and show you guys some of that. So yeah, let's just get to the top and then we can take it from there. Look at how steep that is though. Finally, this part doesn't really have stairs, but it's kind of like a short little path though. And then we have more stairs. Mountain. So we made it to that point and we could see that little bit of waterfalls right there yeah it's kind of far but it looks good just the same um, I walked up these stairs maybe 10 minutes to see this part and now that we have seen it let's go check out the other parts I had to take off my mask for a little bit because I needed to breathe so now it's time to head back down <laughs>
this was alive. Let me put on my mask real quick. Very cool suspension bridge right here. So this is absolutely amazing guys, I've only been able to like see like two levels so far and I went up some stairs, they were so steep, oh my goodness, it's like you gotta hold on in order not to fall, but yeah, it's beautiful out here, really nice, you can see the waterfalls from many different angles, I'm gonna show it to you from the bridge and then I'm gonna go to another level and then I will just wrap up this video, but yeah. You can also see it from this angle, it's really nice, beautiful. The weather is absolutely amazing as well, absolutely amazing. This is like a suspension bridge. <laughs> it shakes whenever like people walk on it, so yeah, you have to hold on. But it's a really good view out here today, it's really nice. Love, 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 love it. Definitely recommend coming to this falls if you're in Ibaraki definitely recommend that you come to this falls because it's amazing I legit can't get enough of this already can't get enough I'm gonna show you a few more I'm gonna show you one last spot
the weather is really great. It's a really beautiful view out here, and like lots of people are out here on a Sunday to view the waterfall. It's amazing. Like like I said before, it's like the third largest waterfall in Japan, and it's in Ibaraki Prefecture. So yeah, you guys should come out here if you got a chance and see this beautiful, amazing treasure that is in the mountains. It's wonderful. I found an elevator, and then I was able to see this. I thought it was finished but there was one more level so that's the one that I just showed you guys just now. There is an elevator so you can find the elevator and get to the highest point where you can see the longest part of the waterfall. Most places in Japan only have like stairs and stairs and more stairs but this one actually has an elevator. If you really want to see this falls I suggest you guys come up pretty early in the morning so that you can get to different parts if you don't have other plans on the day that would be great. I do so I have to get to Koga station which is like the main part of Ibaraki. I'm so happy that I was able to show you guys the falls and I hope you guys enjoy this video. But for right now we're gonna go to Koga station. If you like this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe hit that bell notification and I'll catch you guys in the next video. There are so many little spots where you can pay 300 yen and park your car so yeah you don't have to worry about that there's one right here and there's one across the street and like up the road there's so many of them but this is a bus stop if you're gonna take the bus and these are what the times look like if you're gonna take the bus you gotta make sure you are out here at these times in order not to miss it or have to sit and wait for a long time <laughs> 